A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you today about being specific. Specific. What does that word mean? Well, I looked up the Oxford Dictionary and this is what the word means literally. It means to be precise and to be clear. It means to be clearly defined or identified. You and I, as followers of Jesus, have got to be specific people. People must know who we are. They don't have to like us, but they must respect us. You see that man? You see that woman? They are followers of the way. In the early days, they never called us Christians. We were called followers of the way. Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And you'll find that in John chapter 14 and verse 6. We are going to have to be more specific in these last days. No more wishy-washy. No more being lukewarm. Remember Jesus said in Revelation chapter 3 verse 16, if you are lukewarm, I will vomit you out of my mouth. No time for lukewarm. He says, I'd rather you be ice cold. What does that mean? He says, I... I I would rather you be an unbeliever than be lukewarm. We need to be specific. Everything we do. That's what specific means. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2. The Lord says, write it down. Make it plain. Make it clear. So that others can run with it. You see, folks, there's no good one day you're praising the Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. The next day, you're in the pub half drunk with the world. Now you get a young man who's just given his life to Christ. He doesn't know now, how does this work? On Sunday morning, you're praising Jesus. On Monday, you're having an affair with your best friend's wife. You have got to be specific. If you're going to follow Jesus, you have to follow the mandate that's written in this book. You cannot do your own thing and then call yourself a Christian. That is what's keeping people out of the kingdom. Hypocrisy. A lot of men have said to me, I have no problem with this man, Jesus. It's his followers I can't reconcile myself with. You know who said that? Mahatma Gandhi said that. He had a, a quarter of the world's population in the palm of his hand. And he said, I have no problem following this man, Jesus. But I cannot reconcile myself to his followers. Do you know that when he used to go up to the temple... His favorite song that he would sing was when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. Mahatma Gandhi, a Hindu. I want to say to you folks, you have got to be specific. You're either in or you're out. It's either black or white. There is no gray area. I want to really say to you today that that's the difference between the sheep and the goats. No other difference. Let's go to Matthew chapter 25. And I'm going to read a couple of verses from verse 31. When the Son of Man comes in His glory. This is Jesus speaking by the way. And all the holy angels with Him. And then He will sit on the throne of His glory. And all the nations will be gathered before Him. And He will separate them one from another. As a shepherd divides the sheep from the goats. Verse 33, and he will set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. And then the king will say to those on the right hand, come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison. And you came to me. God bless you. Goodbye.